The popular classic option, which is the Honda Unicorn, is always an attractive option even in 2022. But then compared to the Eero Extreme 160R, is the Honda Unicorn BS6 a better one? Well, this video is to get a clear picture about it, because it's the comparison of the Honda Unicorn BS6 and the Eero Extreme 160R BS6. Now for this comparison, we are using our classic categorization, which are the design and build quality, specifications, ride quality and comfort, mileage, and price. Now this five-stage categorization will help in understanding the difference between the two bikes, and hence that will help you in picking the right choice for you. So let's start things with the first factor for the comparison, which is the design and build quality. Now from looks, well, the preference is surely based on an individual's liking, and here the Unicorn is an all-time classic style bike. Unicorn's design is smooth and elegant with no bells and whistles. Even now, the Unicorn is not using a digital meter nor a LED light, and that itself shows that Honda hasn't taken any chances with the Unicorn BS6's design. Well, in a way it's good, but still, if there was some tweaking like at least a new digital style meter or a new tail light, well, that would have been refreshing. But that's not what you're getting, and here the Unicorn BS6's design is still the design that's set for a majority. But while checking the Xtreme 160R BS6, well, its design is more of a muscular street fighter type. Its headlight is termed the droid style headlight, and it's a LED one, and its range and coverage is good, so night rides are not much of an issue. And about the Unicorn BS6, well, it's still using the halogen bulb, and while test riding through pitch dark condition in the Unicorn, it was not that too bad. And here, even though both these headlights are not the best, the better of the two felt to be the headlight set in the Eero Xtreme 160R BS6. And actually, the indicators in the Eero Xtreme 160R is also this sleek looking one, and here these are also LED. And the aggressive design theming of the Xtreme 160R actually extends throughout with sharpness and a stubby muffler, and even the rear design is unique. The pillion grab bar is the body integrated type, and it's comfortable, and also the tail light, well, it has this stealth look, and it's following an edge style layout, and these are also LED. So overall, a modern approach can be noticed in the Xtreme 160R's design, and even the Speedo console is following that trend. It's a modern style one, and here yeah, the console does show all the needed information. And also, this bike does offer much needed features like side stand engine cutoff, which is present in the Unicorn 2, but then for the switch controls in the Xtreme 160R, well, it does get an additional control, which is the Hazard toggle. And also, by the way, the Xtreme 160R even gets an option for the USB charging socket, which is missing in the Unicorn BS6. So from all this, well, the design of the Xtreme 160R is a bike set for 2022 with its feature offering and design approach, but then where this bike falls short in this factor is with the build quality. The plastics use doesn't feel that good, and there is plenty of plastic, and for the better build quality, the Unicorn is surely having the upper hand. Well, that's everything for this factor, and now let's move on to the second factor, which is the specifications. Now, this factor is a paper-based thing because it's numbers that the companies portray, and when you take a look at the engine spec sheet of both these bikes, well, they both have 163cc engines, which is of FI technology, but then for the max power output generated, well, the Hero Xtreme 160R BS6 takes a big margin. But with the torque generated, both have the same max torque. So that's like an upper hand in paper for the Hero Xtreme 160R. Then with the body dimensions, well, the Unicorn BS6 is the longer and the taller bike, and it's slightly more heavier with a bigger wheelbase. And here, the more interesting number for the Unicorn BS6 is its massive 187mm ground clearance. But with the tires, well, that's a place where the Unicorn is using much slimmer tires. And here, the Eero Xtreme 160R gets advantage both in the thickness and also with the type because the rear tire in the Eero Xtreme 160R is a radial tubeless one. And with the brakes too, the Eero Xtreme 160R gets the better one because the Xtreme 160R has a dual disc or a single disc option, and the disc brake sizing is also better in the Xtreme 160R. Now, Unicorn's single brake option is not that bad, but still a dual disc variant would have been a good addition. And finally, in this factor, the suspension used in the Eero Xtreme 160R is the front telescopic one, and a 7-step rider adjustable monoshock rear one. And with the Unicorn BS6, well, the front is telescopic, and the rear one is the classic monoshock type. So that's all from this factor, and here with paper stuff, the Eero Xtreme 160R looks more appealing, but for me, this is not the major deciding thing, because whatever we see in paper has to reflect well in road, and hence let's find that out from our next factor, which is the right quality and comfort. And here let's start things with the Honda Unicorn BS6, and as always, the speciality of the Unicorn is always its engine smoothness and refinement, 
and that's pretty much kept intact in a much more advanced manner with the BS6 version. Taking the new unicorn for a ride is a joyful thing and yet some people are confused whether this is the old 160cc unicorn. Well, to clear that doubt, once more, it's not that engine. This is the BS6 standard engine and as I stated, it's very smooth and refined and at the same time, it does have sufficient power. The ride chart is still the linear acceleration type but then you can hit the 90 plus km per hour mark without stressing the engine and overall till that speed range, the ride quality is great. The bike gains speed in a consistent manner and I love the engine quality of the BS6 Unicorn. And about the Hero Extreme 160R, well its initial acceleration is quicker so if you do a 0 to 60 drag race, the Extreme 160R has the advantage but after that, the power chart takes a hit. Now don't get me wrong, because with the Extreme 160R, you can hit the 100 km per hour mark but that all happens in a bit slow manner than what I was expecting. And here another thing that I was not expecting from the Hero Extreme 160R's look is the seating poster. The handlebar is far set and hence I did have to lean a lot forward and hence to me the riding poster was a bit uncomfortable while compared to the perfectly upright poster of the Unicorn BSX. And surely from the two, the better ride comfort bike for me based on poster was the Unicorn BSX. But then based on suspension and seat quality, both bikes provide adequate comfort and hence things are good no matter which one you're gonna pick. But that all changes when we move into the right safety side. Because in that aspect, the safer bike is the Extreme 160R because it does have much more safer, chunkier front and rear tire and even the brake options provided are more improved. You get the choice of having a dual disc variant in the Extreme 160R but it's missing in the Unicorn BS6. And finally for the right control, I did like the more nimbleness of the Unicorn over the Extreme 160R. So in this factor, things are pretty much moving back and forth and your decision should be based on your preferences. If you want a refined linear power generation engine which has excellent ride comfort in all regards, well then the Unicorn BS6 is the more appealing one. But if you're into initial acceleration advantage and you look for a safer bike, well then the Hero Extreme 160R shines. So that's everything from this factor and now let's move on to the fourth factor which is the mileage. Well here before the mileage number, the tank capacity advantage is there for the Unicorn BS6 because it gets a 13 litre tank compared to the 12 litre one in the Hero Extreme 160R and for the mileage, well, during our testing, both bikes almost got the same mileage where the Unicorn's mileage range was somewhere between 52 to 54 km per liter and for the Xtreme 160R, it was in the 53 to 56 km per liter mark. Now, please do note that mileage varies based on the riding pattern and the riding condition. And now to the last factor, which is the pricing. Now, this is the present X showroom pricing of both the bikes and here, as you can see, the Honda Unicorn BS6 just has one variant and its pricing is significantly lower than the pricing of all the variants of the Xtreme 160R. So with that, everything is covered and your, your decision making should be easy. If you prefer to spend less and you're looking for a classic style bike which offers excellent ride quality and comfort with adequate safety and also a good mileage, well then your pick should be the Honda Unicorn BS6. But on the other hand, if you're looking for a more sporty and different style bike option with plenty of new features and also it should be having great initial acceleration and good safety with a good mileage number, well then your pick should be the Hero Extreme 160R. Now for me, well I always have a sweet spot for Unicorn and here my priorities tally well with the Unicorn and hence my pick from these two is the Honda Unicorn BS6. But then from the two, which one do you prefer? Please leave that in the comment section and also before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the like for a video will be great too. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye and always ride safe.